Hello and welcome back to Dark Souls 2. Now, basically the only thing to do in the main story with this is to finish it, basically. And we're really not that far away from the end. We're talking about a minute's walk, which is strange, but it's funny, it kind of just sneaks up on you like that. Now, that's not to say that we're done, done with the game. This is just the sort of main part of it, the main story, but uh, still. It's kind of interesting, it's been quite a long journey. I had a look, the playtime's about 20 hours, which is a fairly long uh, stretch of time. I'd say, what, 18 of that probably got recorded for the LP? That's a fair whack. That's not bad. You know, it's a, it's a pretty burly game in overall. There you go. Hello. My journey is already complete. My name is Shanalot. The dragon gave me this name, for I was born with none. That's nice of them. I was born of dragons, contrived by men. What kind of dragons? Who would cause them fate herself? They are the ones who created me, but they failed. I did not come out as intended. Phrasing. <laughs> fate would not be best, and men were cursed once again. If you proceed, Nashandra will come after me. Knowing that you will take the throne and link the fire. She covets the first flame and the great soul. Put Nishandra to rest. I'll put her to rest with my fists, mate. In the Gabalok and all that. Again, she doesn't do anything further. So, amazing. I always, I'm always amazed at the bloodstains around here. Let's watch. What happened to you, sir? Oh, off you go. Ooh. Gee, I wonder what happened to all these people. Like, seriously, people. You do not need to run off the edge. Stop it. Where are you going? And you fell off too. Like, it's not a difficult thing, this. It's a path. You just don't fall off. It's a bottomless pit. Why are you running off? What is wrong? Anyway, barring the odd suicidal people. I always like this, because we're beneath the castle, and if you obviously go up and look at the throne, at top, she's not there. She's not sitting on it anymore, so... Uh, I'm presuming... Uh, Queen Nishandra is on her way down, which is always interesting. Uh, interesting things about Nishandra, but we'll cover that when we, uh, when we get there. So, uh, I said this is just, uh, I, I like this bit. It's really cool. It's atmospheric. It's, I'd say just as atmospheric as the, um, sort of the scorched ash area of the, uh, of the original. I, I really do like this walk. I don't know why, just the whole under the castle sort of section is neat. And here we are. Two summoning signs for you to use, should you want to. Head of Vengal. He's actually pretty good in this fight. And Ben Hart of Jugo, uh, which we haven't summoned at all for this, but... Both of which are actually pretty decent if you want to go in there with two burly men. Um, but we're not going to be going with two burly men. We're going in with Twitter people. So, do excuse me while I go investigate. Okay, I've got my two men. I say men, I've got one man here, and I've got the uh, Shade Kaine again. It's kind of reliable, all these things to turn up. Hey! Okay, cool. So, well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, have you got horns? Have you got horns? Oh no, you got a crown of some sort. Kind of looks like horns. Mm -hmm. Whatever. So, this is it. The last boss area is. Is everybody pissing ready? I didn't change my pissing rings over. Get myself decked. Let's just change that. Ooh. These men are very sour, by the way, and you've got to kill them both roughly at the same time. Which can make this a bit tricky. Um, they are, however, El Fatos. Ow. Except for this angry lady. So. Come on, Kanye. Put your stockings up. Whatever it is. Uh oh. Ugh. Jesus. Uh, yeah, they hit hard, so. Ow. Jesus. I think I may shield until I can get some health back. I'm going to achieve absolutely sod all. This is actually a pretty difficult fight. Christ. Look! Focus on someone else for a minute, you bastard. Your face shield and smiley face and oh thank god. Health. That's a terrifying sound. Alright, I'm going to smack her in the bum a bit. No! I wish to smack you in the bum. Ugh. Ugh. Interestingly, if we royally fuck this up, we don't have to fight the final boss straight away if we die. Like, if we kill these two first, it's not so bad. Oh god, I, 
Fist weapons really do show their limitations when you start missing people. Hello, big boy. Like, a big, a big old sword will actually let you hit these chaps. God. Stop being so angry with life! It's not my problem you're stuck down here defending something no one gives a piss about for millennia. Oh goody. And now he has a lightning sword and she has a slightly lightning leer sword. Ugh! Ugh! Smack you in your shielded leg with my fist. All the damage. Piss this. Oh god. I feel like I should drag him. I should drag him very hard. So. Shit! I wish to drag him extremely hard! Interestingly, that gives you a damage boost. Oh god. I think one's that bloody thing back there to hit us. Right, he's dead. The move's dead! Hooray! Hooray, everybody, hooray! Quick, need to swap my rings over, need to swap my rings over. Where is it? Where's the cursed shit? I have a ring that stops cursed. There we are! Phew! Okay, this will become apparent shortly. Thank you, gentlemen and lady, and if you guys disappear, I will be upset. I'm hoping you don't. I'm assuming not. <laughs> Grave undead. Hello, Princess Nashandra. Queen Nashandra, whatever. Oh, good! Rest in peace, HR Giga. You seem to have come back alive and well to come and spook us some more. All it needs is a couple of penises in there. We're all good. I, I know it's sharp. You don't have to do the finger thing, by the way. Also, you need some burgers. Look at that wrist. That wrist is not natural. I'm going to force feed you something, like in yeah. DayZ. Like a moldy apple or something. I don't want to be one with the dark. The dark makes you all scaly and looks like you need penises added to you, which is bizarre, because normally things need less penises on them, but since we're going HR Giga, we may as well go extra penis. Um, ah, yes. Now, these curse you, so preferably we want to kite Nashandra away. Um, is that, she's actually a really easy fight. Um, doing this solo is incredibly pissed. Um, it's weird because she just doesn't do a lot. Being near her tends to curse you as well, she does some stupid shit, but she lays beams and she does the side stuff, but compared to say Gwyn, she's not actually that difficult. She has quality music on which of course I'm talking over and ruining completely. And yeah, I'm totally shielding this fight, so uh, blow me. Or don't actually, that'd be a better idea. Um, duck <laughs> freezing. Whoop. We probably don't want to be near the laser beam of death. Oh, no, we don't want that. You know what this world needs more of? Punching final bosses. Seriously, I'm looking at, I'm in your death dress. Check it out, I'm looking at your death underwear. Can I see your undies? Do death evil incarnates even have undies? Would you even need undies? I mean, it's a kind of dress. Uh, nope. Yeah, so you can get rid of these. It's usually a smart idea. Oh dear. Let's get rid of that. Oh, she's dead. Oh, good job, Kane, and good job, my other friend. I lost the top of your name since it started out. Sweet! That's, uh, yeah. That's the final boss. Mm -hmm. There's, uh... Mm -hmm. There's, uh... I don't know what to say about that one. Like, it's an interesting fight, um, aesthetically, I guess. Mechanically, it's kind of dull. Again, if you're a caster, just like the 90% of the fights in this game, you laugh at this one. You stand back, and Nishandra goes, I'm gonna throw Kamehamehas at you, and you're like, oh, that's very nice, I like Kamehamehas. And of course, uh, the Kamehamehas are a bit wank, so you kind of just avoid them and shoot her to death. But don't let me stop the coolness of this scene, you know. It's pretty, uh, pretty bling. Excuse me if I drink, you know, it's rather hot in here. I have to shut the door to record, you see, and uh, of course the temperature's up to uh, 10 trillion degrees Kelvin. This is a bit hot. These chappies are alright. I mean, admittedly they probably could have just built a bridge rather than using artificial golem life or giants, whatever they're supposed to be. Who link the fire? You. Who bear the curse. I look baller as shit. 
Once the fire is linked, souls will flourish anew, and all of this will play out again. Great, let's do that then. Your choice to embrace or renounce this. By choice, that they mean that metaphorically, of course, because you don't actually have a choice here. It's kind of a kind of a moot point. I do look cool though, which is obviously the most important thing here. Also, this throne is more throny, thronier than the thrones upstairs, which I just don't count as thrones of awesome. Maybe this is built. I mean, it, maybe this is all built on top of where Gwyn bit it because of all the ash around. I don't know. Maybe that's Great what. Sovereign, take your throne. We can't see the reactions of Lady Kiko here because of the big smiley dragon helmet, but let's pretend she's looking pretty baller and happy about this. Nice. I sit on my probably extremely uncomfortable throne unless they've sort of carved out some ass seat for me already. Only you can see. Or not see in the case of that helmet, probably. Otherwise, Lady Kiko probably notice that the doors are shutting. I don't know if I was, I don't know the law behind it, but if just just sheerly on looking and guessing, it that kind of reminds me of the kiln of the last flame with all the ash and sort of around the floor. If it's supposed to be ash, just there we are. That's Dark Souls two. Also, this is um, Emmy Evans singing this song, I think, uh, who did all the vo music for Near, uh, all the vocals. Fun fact for you. Mm. So yeah, that's Dark Souls 2. That is all the the main content for Dark Souls 2. There are additional things we can do. Um, there are a couple of bosses we have yet to do. Uh, how many bosses? Two or three bosses, I think, we're yet to do. And a few of the bits and bobs. Um, the game doesn't automatically end either when you defeat the final boss, which is nice. Because if we cannot skip the credits, <laughs> never mind. I was about to say, if we skip the credits, I would show you, but uh, what I will do is just continue after the credits. Um, this isn't the end of the LP, there's a few things I want to do yet. I want to try and do some additional bosses and things. But that is additional content. So in terms of the main LP, that's it. That's Dark Souls 2 done. You've, you've seen it. Essentially all the main content to the end. I hope you've enjoyed it as well. I, as the last game, I've thoroughly enjoyed it. I love these games. I would love to see more of them and more in this style. I think the sort of mixture of the ex exploration, difficulty and RPG elements blend to make a perfect, essentially modern Metroid game, which I really appreciate. Uh, the difficulty, of course, not really a Metroid signature, but the sort of the exploration of opening new areas with new skills and your, your own skill getting you through stuff. I like it. Um, yeah, but that, that's it. I, As for what game I think is better, I know some people have asked me on Twitter before. Um, difficult to say, I spent a lot more time with Dark Souls 1. Uh, I think Dark Souls 2 has got more, more content to it, but perhaps Dark Souls 1 was a more difficult perhaps more interesting game. I think they're both brilliant and absolutely excellent. I, d I don't think there's necessarily a lot in between them, if I do prefer one or the other, but only time will tell, I think, what I end up playing the most. So yeah, that's it. Thank you very much for watching the set, I hope you enjoyed it, and next time we'll be doing some more dicking around, no doubt, and finding a few bits if you happen to stick. And if you don't want to see the extra content, once again, thank you very much for watching the LP. Till then.